What's going on my little piglets? It's your BFF Port Shop here and I'm coming at you with another car confession. Decided to give these a name and I do most of my vlogs inside the car so why not? So whatever vlogs that I do in my room I guess I'll give it a different name. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm actually wearing long sleeves for the first time this season I believe. And that's because I went to class this morning and it was like 30 degrees I think I think it was a little colder than that with wind chill you know it decreases it so I just got here's the funny thing I took the shuttle to my first class and I was like okay you know I'm gonna take the shuttle I'm only a, a few minutes late so it won't be that bad so I take the shuttle I get all the way there my class is canceled there's nobody in there so I sat out in the hallway and I edited some things for the pick'em that will be up, Minana, and so I got that done and uh, updated the the uh, overall record for me and Chris, and then uh, counted how many of the the picks, the uh, four piglets that did the pick'em, how many they got correct and how many they got incorrect. And the piglets are usually spot on with me and Chris when it comes to picking. Like, we'll have, like, one of those surprise sleeper picks that nobody picks, and they end up winning the game. And then we'll have, like, a pick where we're like, oh, they're going to win. It, it's, it's, a, it's a given. They're going to win. And then they lose by, like, 30 points. So, <laughs> Chris brought up a very valid point a few weeks ago in our pick -em. He was like, he said, Chris, Chris, <laughs> he said, people are going to think that we like know what we're talking about <laughs> because when it comes to football, like even like myself, like I will be watching like NFL network and I'll watch all those shows where they, they, they pick the, uh, the games and like some of the things they say, I'm like, and you get paid to say this. Well, Chris and I over here actually, I think, say more intelligent things, and we don't get paid a penny from the NFL to do these picks. So, it's very interesting, some of the things that these experts say. Like, Randy Moss, last night, before Monday Night Football kickoff, said that the Dallas Cowboys aren't even a top-four team in the NFL. So, Randy Moss, I think, is just still... Uh, a little peanut butter and jelly that we didn't pick him in the draft when we should have because we had a chance to get Randy Moss we just decided not to get him and he eventually went to Minnesota and lit us up that one uh, Thanksgiving game he, I think he had like only like four catches but like two of them were for touchdowns and like two of them were for like 50 plus yards so whatever dude and the fact that he says that the Cowboys aren't even a top five team, but they have the best record. They have the best run game in the NFL. They have a damn good rookie quarterback when some of these quarterbacks in the league have been kind of shaky, like, like Wentz and Kessler. And who else is a rookie quarterback that's starting? Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. The Cowboys are definitely a top four, top two, top one team in the NFL, I believe. We y'all haven't played anybody. Yeah, we have. We've played plenty of people. You want to talk about a schedule that was ridiculous is when the Giants won their six games in a row. And uh, they, uh, as Mark Holmes likes to call it, struggled against the Doo Doo Browns last week or two weeks ago. Uh, Browns have a bye week this week, that's why I didn't upload a Operation Port Shop video. But those will be up starting again until the end of the season, starting this week. I play against the Cincinnati Bengals, and it is potentially for the number one spot in that division of the AFC North. So be watching because if we win, we're in. We're, we're the number one ranked team in that division if we lose I think we dropped to three so gotta be watching that it's gonna be interesting I went ahead and recorded week 14 and week 15 back to back 
last night. I was up till two o'clock in the morning recording it on my PlayStation 4. So that was interesting to say the least. So I am here running an errand. So this is gonna be short and sweet. I know five minutes for some people are like, God, he talks forever. But I'm gonna end it right there. Guys, YouTube has this new format. And apparently it works on mobile. Jocelyn and I discovered it works on mobile. So I'm gonna put my subscribe button right here, click that, and then I'm gonna put a video right here. I don't know what featured video I'm gonna pick. I'll probably put the Cleveland Browns playlist since that's what I talked about. And thank you guys so much once again for dropping by and always remember my little pickle. It's Colin Porkchop. Loves y'all the most. y'all take it easy guys and I'll see y'all next time. Bye guys.